Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the doctor preppers for Prep and Data where we're going to be getting our data set for today's video. So in this video we're going to be talking about join clauses and that basically means what two fields are you joining together when you're joining your data sets and we're also going to take a look at the how Tableau Prep is smart enough sometimes to find you recommendations for what those join clauses should be. So let's hop over to the challenge. So we're looking at 2019 week 44, in case you wanted to follow along. Um, and we basically just have um, store sales by location and by day. And then we also have a list of the team members in those stores during those days. So we want to do some analysis on, you know, does more employees mean more sales, etc., and so forth. Um, so I've already done some pre-work in Tableau Prep just to sort of get our data nice and ready to be structurally joined. So in our store sales, we have just pivoted so that we've got a column for the store and a column for the sales rather than sort of two separate columns. Um, and then we've got, uh, we've done some aggregating of our data set so that we just have the number of team members on a particular day in a particular store. So if we go ahead and just zoom into here and do a join, so we're just gonna pick up one of our data sets and drop it on the join section of the other then you can see that immediately we have um, the store being joined to the store. Now let's take a moment um, to think about this. So we've got 392 rows in our data set. Let's check how many rows we had going into it from each of our data sets. So we had 28 rows from our store sales and we had 28 rows from our um, team members data set. So that seems like it's a little bit high. You know, that's kind of our first indication that this join isn't kind of doing exactly what we want it to. If we kind of take a closer look, we see that our store is joined to our store. But if we look down here in the sort of preview table that we have, then we've basically got um, two columns for the date and those dates aren't matching. So for every store we have sort of the, and for every date in our store sales data set, we are getting every single date from our team members data set, um, which isn't exactly how we want it to be. We want to have a look down in the bottom left here at the join clauses recommendations, because it's saying, hey, you probably want to be joining on the date as well for this data set, because we've got 28 rows, 28 rows, it's making 392. That's not right. What you're going to want is you're going to want to use the plus button here to make use of the join clause recommendations. So if we just hit that plus there, then immediately we see that our number of rows goes down to be 28, which is much more what would be in line with what we would expect and how we want these data sets to join together. Now, if that join clause recommendation wasn't there, then we can obviously simply add in that join clause ourselves by just selecting date from each of the um, data sets. But I do like to make use of Tableau Preps kind of automatically recognizing things, making lives e our lives easier by recommending the correct join clauses. I mean, Tableau Prep isn't always gonna get it right, but if you've got columns that have the same names in both data sets that you're joining together, it's likely that it's going to recommend you to join those two, uh, to apply that as a join clause to your data set. So I hope that that was useful and it made you think a bit about your join clauses and um, how you can use that going forwards. Of course, in your join clause as well, you not only have the option of having it the equal values join, but you also have these other operators too, which we discussed a little bit more in the scaffolding video, which I would really recommend. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to this channel check out our next video on join types and the other videos that have already been in previous weeks as part of this series.